Have you ever wondered if it is possible to beat Don't Starve? No matter how far you go, it does not seem like you will get rewarded with a windscreen. But what if I told you there is a way to win, and it is by killing yourself? It is the only thing that will give you some sort of end screen in the entire game. Not only that, but there is an obituaries tab that tracks all your deaths almost as if it is showing you each time that you bet the game. So today I am going to finally beat Don't Starve. Now that I have won, there is only one thing left to do, and that is to win as fast as possible. You might think Gwes is the best character for dying, since he is the weakest, however Maxwell actually has less health, so we will be using him. The only rules for this are 1. You can't change the world settings and 2. No getting help from other players, because that is cheating. Trust me, I would know. Alright, I got a timer on my phone, because I have no clue how you set one up, so uh... 3, 2, 1... Twigs, come on. We need two twigs and two grass. And we just sit here. Thirty four point two seconds. Huh, you'd think it would be faster. Cool, let's, uh, we can do better. Alright, attempt number two. Three, two, one, go. Uh, there's probably stuff here. Um, you got stuck on a tree. <laughs> this is so stupid. Do you think this will burn out before? I lose all my health. Exactly 39 seconds. That was that was like a full seven seconds slower. That's this is not okay. Oh wait, is there any bees or something that can kill me faster? Or a tall bird or something. I don't see anything. Maybe maybe we'll try that next time. Okay, this time I'm gonna try and find Something that can kill me. I think there might be bee boxes here. I'm not, I'm not seeing them. There's 20 seconds gone. I thought bees spawn close to spawn, but I guess they actually don't. Huh. If we got four red caps, we could kill ourselves that way. I mean, there's beef, but by now it's one. It's way too late. One minute, twenty seconds. That is terrible. Let's do it again. This time I'm gonna just try and find red mushrooms, unless they just don't exist. Maybe beefaloes can kill me if they're here. Ah! Oh, I was hoping for clockworks. I mean, there's a beehive. Hit me. Damn you suck at killing me. 41.7 seconds. Are those clockworks? Oh my god, Rook! Do my best buddy do, come on, kill me. No, come back here, no, 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 no. Oh 
20 point seven. Oh. You know, I have an idea. Rather than resetting, we could roll back on this world and try and do better and better. Okay, I, I think the rook was above us. Let me see if that's right. Like somewhere here? I think I went the wrong way. He's below us. Yeah, he's there. That's really close, actually. I just punched you and you go the opposite direct. Like he's just running for me. Okay, you know, just roll back. <laughs> Okay, we have to try and make sure that he doesn't run off. So I think if I... Nah, I thought if I punched him, maybe he would like not do this, but... Maybe this pickaxe can help. And then we hit... No! Ah, oh, hmm. We stunned him. And he was like trying to hit me then. Yeah, we should use the pickaxe. Okay, I, th I think if we hit him with the pickaxe... If he gets stunned for like a second and, he and then he won't run off. So we definitely have to pick up the pickaxe. Didn't work. The way he works is just so weird. Let's just figure out how he works. Hmm. That time he came back. I don't know what I even did that triggered that. But if it works, I guess it works. Sixteen point six. Unfortunately, that's the fastest I could get. I couldn't replicate what I just did and honestly I have no idea why he came back that one time. Anyways, I have spent way too long doing this so I will leave it there. You can probably die faster if you got better world generation, but that's it for now. Thank you for watching and goodbye.